Some of these missions didn't end well, so here's your warning. I'm your host Yusuf, and these are 10 scary NASA missions that made astronauts quit. Make sure you subscribe and ring that bell to get notified whenever we upload a new video. Anyways, let's get spacewalking. Number 10, Project Mercury. Project Mercury was the first human spaceflight program of the United States, running from 1958 through 1963. An early highlight of the space race, its goal was to put a man into Earth orbit and return him safely, ideally before the Soviet Union. Taken over from the US Air Force by the newly created civilian space agency NASA, it conducted 20 uncrewed developmental flights, some using animals, and six successful flights by astronauts. The program, which took its name from Roman mythology, cost $2.5 $2.57 billion, adjusted for inflation. The astronauts were collectively known as the Mercury 7, and each spacecraft was given a name ending with a 7 by its pilots. These early flights were no doubt dangerous for those involved. Number 9, Project Gemini. Project Gemini was NASA's second human spaceflight program, conducted between Projects Mercury and Apollo. Gemini started in 1961 and concluded in 1966. The Gemini spacecraft carried a two astronaut crew. Ten Gemini crews and 16 individual astronauts flew low Earth orbit missions during 1965 and 1966. Gemini's objective was the development of space travel techniques to support the Apollo missions to land astronauts on the moon. In doing so, it allowed the United States to catch up and overcome the lead in human spaceflight capability the Soviet Union had obtained in the early years of the space race by demonstrating mission endurance up to just under 14 days longer than the eight days required for a round trip to the moon. Methods of performing extravehicular activity without tiring and the orbital maneuvers necessary to achieve rendezvous and docking with another spacecraft. Any wrong move in the docking and it's game over, man. Number eight, the Apollo program. The Apollo program, also known as Project Apollo, was the third United States human spaceflight program carried out by the National Aeronautics and Space Administration, which succeeded in preparing and landing the first humans on the moon from 1968 to 1972. It was first conceived in 1960 during President Dwight D. Eisenhower's administration as a three-person spacecraft to follow the one-person project Mercury, which put the first Americans in space. Apollo was later dedicated to President John F. Kennedy's national goal for the 1960s of landing a man on the moon and returning him safely to the earth. In an address to Congress on May 25th, 1961, it was the third U.S. human spaceflight program to fly, preceded by the two-person Project Gemini conceived in 1961 to extend spaceflight capability in support of Apollo. Number 7, the Skylab. Skylab was the first United States space station launched by NASA, occupied for about 24 weeks between May 1973 and February 1974. It was operated by three separate three astronaut crews, Skylab 2, Skylab 3, and Skylab 4. Major operations included an orbital workshop, a solar observatory, Earth observation, and hundreds of experiments. Unable to be reboosted by the space shuttle, which was not ready until 1981, Skylab's orbit eventually decayed, and it disintegrated in the atmosphere on July 11th, 1979, scattering debris across the Indian Ocean and Western Australia. Knowing the US government, these experiments could have been wildly dangerous or unethical. Number 6, the Apollo Soyuz mission. Apollo Soyuz was the first crewed international space mission carried out jointly by the United States and the Soviet Union in July 1975. Millions of people around the world watched on television as a United States Apollo spacecraft docked with a Soviet Soyuz capsule. The project and its handshake in space was a symbol of detente between the two superpowers during the Cold War. As this mission really calmed down the Cold War, it's easy to see how things could have gone horribly wrong. If that handshake was awkward and one guy went for a fist bump, it would have been over for everyone. Number five, the Space Shuttle Program. The Space Shuttle Program was the fourth human spaceflight program carried out by the US National Aeronautics and Space Administration, which accomplished routine transportation for Earth to orbit crew and cargo from 1981 to 2011. Its official name, Space Transportation System, or STS, was taken from a 1969 plan for a system of reusable spacecraft, of which it was the only item funded for development. It flew 135 missions and carried 355 astronauts from 16 countries, many on multiple trips. 
Number four, Apollo 1. Apollo 1, initially designated AS-204, was the first crewed mission of the Apollo program, the American undertaking to land the first man on the moon. It was planned to launch on February 21st, 1967, as the first low Earth orbital test of the Apollo command and service module. The mission, however, never flew. A cabin fire during a launch rehearsal test at Cape Kennedy Air Force Station, Launch Complex 34 on January 27th, ended all three crew members. Command pilot Gus Grissom, senior pilot Ed White, and pilot Roger B. Shaffey, and destroyed the command module. The name Apollo 1, chosen by the crew, was made official by NASA in their honor after the fire. Number three, the ISS. The International Space Station is the largest module space station in low Earth orbit. The project involves five space agencies. The ownership and use of the space station is established by intergovernmental treaties and agreements. The station serves as a microgravity and space environment research laboratory in which scientific research is conducted in astrobiology, astronomy, meteorology, physics, and other fields. The ISS is suited for testing the spacecraft systems and equipment required for possible future long duration missions to the moon and Mars. Number two, ISS Expedition 36. Luca Parmitano, an Italian astronaut with the European Space Agency, took on a bit of water as he was working outside of the International Space Station on July 16th, 2013. During a spacewalk on the 36th expedition to the ISS, Parmitano's helmet began to unexpectedly fill with liquid, and being in space, the water was free to float around his entire head, eventually making it impossible for him to hear or speak to other astronauts. Though it might seem like the solution to Parmitano Tano's problem was obvious. Alas, the water was not from a drinking bag, but from a leak in a liquid coolant system and would not have been the safest thing to drink. Plus, imagine drinking water that is floating freely in the air. Doesn't seem so easy. The spacewalk continued for over an hour before he was back in the ISS and free from his wetsuit, completely unharmed but in need of a fresh towel, which he received promptly. The accident and subsequent cancellation of the spacewalk made it the second shortest spacewalk in the station's history. Number one, Apollo 12. The second manned lunar expedition, a feat astronaut Charles Conrad called a small step for Neil Armstrong but a long one for me, was not without a few mishaps. As Apollo 12 was beginning to lift off on November 14th, 1969, the top of the shuttle was hit by two different lightning strikes that had the potential to compromise the spacecraft and the mission. The first strike was even visible to the spectating audience, creating a stir and concern about the safety of the mission. But despite the scare, it was determined in a quick check of all the spacecraft systems that no damage was done to the vehicle, and it set off to the moon just as planned. It was the return to Earth that caused a little more trouble. As the spacecraft splashed down in the ocean during its return to Earth, a strong wave hit the body of the craft, causing it to jostle and swing from its parachutes. This force toppled a 16 millimeter film camera from where it was secured into astronaut Alan Bean's head causing a 1 inch or 2.5 centimeter cut. Bean turned out a okay though, as Conrad quickly served as medic and bandaged the wound. Thanks for watching! Those were 10 scary NASA missions that made astronauts quit. Leave a like and comment if you think we missed anything, and we hope you have a scary day.